Tony, your thoughts on the 90 minutes, please. It wasn't good enough for me. Um, I didn't think we started the game well enough, and even when we conceded the goal, we didn't react. And then it took us to go 3 0 down to really start trying to get back into the game and fighting for what we wanted three points. And it just wasn't our night tonight. Um, hopefully, it's just a bump in the road, and we can progress moving forward and hopefully get back to our winning ways. And what are some of the key learning points you can take away from tonight's match? Just switching off from the off. Uh, I don't think it was it was more of a, a team effort. We we went to get we went work together as a team well enough in the first probably until the last 10, 15 minutes and we started getting a lot of chances. But I mean we just need to reflect on ourselves and uh, speak to each other and find out what's going on within the team and focus on going forward and on the next game and the one after that but that's out the way now and it's the next one's more important we need to regroup and get ready for the next one and it was great to welcome 600 fans in the stadium tonight it just goes to show what you and the boys can achieve when you're getting that level of support from them if you look at your goal yeah well scoring the goal i mean it's for me i'm not really bothered about the goal but but it just gives us that glimmer of hope when all the fans cheering us on when we scored the goal so I've, I felt like we were invincible in the last 15 minutes. I felt like we were going to keep getting them chances and chances and hopefully get goals, but it just, it just didn't go our way. And what does the next week look like for you and the squad as you prepare with East Kilbride? Uh, we'll have a day off tomorrow, recover, back on Thursday, fully focused. Hopefully everyone's switched on and ready to go for the next few days training. And then come next week, we should be ready and hopefully get it, have a good performance and we'll put a shift in because we need to.